All right, yeah, I just wanted to, uh, well, give you an update and tell you um, how it went with Rob yesterday, game day with the U.S. Civil War game, and uh, yeah, a few other things that have been going on, and then uh, the good thing is I'm starting to clue in that I can hit pause, I don't have to wander around the house and so on and so forth, so I can get to the next scene, if you want to call it that, or and then go from there. Um, we didn't do much yesterday. Uh, it's weird, because Rob's often going, oh, you know, I'm so sorry, Chris, I have to reread the rules, or like... And I feel bad, too, because sometimes I'm asking him questions and um, he's like, Chris, can you just stop talking for a second? Because I need to, like, reread this bit of the rules or he's sitting down over here in the chair and uh, I'm, you know, going on and on and on. And um, we're learning. We're learning. And uh, like I said, he's often apologetic. And I'm like, God, Rob, don't worry about it. Uh, I'm sure, we're, and he's like, is it all right, uh, Chris, if we replay this uh, 1861 uh, thing? I'm like, oh, of course, we can do it three times, four times, I don't care. So we're, both of us right now are, I wouldn't say trying to break the rules or bend the whatevers, but it's not, uh, well, actually, I'm far more strategic oriented. I'm already playing the game, if you want to say it that way. He's just going, hey, I want to try this out, that, that out, the other thing out. So all we've done so far is the strategic move and the first activation turn we had a differential of two i won the activation i'll tell you what happened with the strategic moves and what am i what i am up to um i put a reinforced i put some extra dudes up here and i uh, started reinforcing uh shifting more troops over to this bit my main thing is what i'm trying to do is slowly wiggle my way this way down cut him off cut that whole chunk off and then also use this as a and hopefully we'll meet up somewhere in the god what is going on with uh these places man there's like three columbuses on the flipping map i'm like this is nuts two springfields and uh, so on and so forth i'm like good lord because i like i said uh, oh i'm going to columbus rob's like which one i'm like oh my god ah, ah, this is crazy anyway so um so that's what I've been doing. Um, I'm putting, a, I'm just leaving a holding force up there. I did pop a fort in Harrisburg, just in case Rob tries to go through the back door uh, around me. However, he did attack me. Uh, he attacked the Union on in Alexandria, and like you, and we may not be playing it right. I don't know. Uh, we'll find out. Uh, so he loaded up as much as he possibly could. Uh, there and um, forced me to retreat across the river and uh, that's that that's what's been happening so far uh, I'm loving it I like this uh, well there's lots of things I like about it I like this uh, shift of strategic movement and then kind of movement movement or whatever it's I, I like the under the way uh, Rob and yet again I think Rob's doing a great job of um, the rules so, um, like explaining them to me and this has been nice too. I don't have to, like, I'm just going with it. You know, I feel like I'm at a convention learning a game and speaking of which wait until we go downstairs because I just got an email yesterday saying that, uh, registration for, uh, can games begins on the 28th of February. I'm going to show you guys the prices. I think your jaw's going to drop and yes, meandering Mike. Britannia is being played at Can Games. 16 players. Guess who's signing up? I can tell you that much. And I'm going to be bringing my inner meandering mic to Can Games for that uh, event. You can darn well, I'll be watching your videos again. That's for sure. Hold on. Yeah, be doing this in a few hours. Uh, the first uh, German turn, and we'll see how it goes from there. Yet again, I'm just going to do, um, I'll be very, um, slow for uh uh you know some of the bit to do like um example of combat and all that other stuff but after that i'll i think i'll like speed it up a little bit and say okay after three turns or what have you you know i'll make sure that when we get to the re reinforcements and all that other stuff i mean yeah you know whatever okay oh yeah oh, on a side note man am i ever listening to some good music right now i'm gonna have to put in the um oh sweet jesus it's good I'll have to uh, put in the uh, the link at the in the end credits if you're interested. Oh, jeepers, jumping! <clears throat> and now, oh, I did make uh, notes, believe it or not. So um, I'm not going to show you what I'm really, yeah, not yet. Getting close though, I'll be able to show you what I've been up to with the uh, the postcard jam. 
But what I did do now, at least I'm starting to clue into how many, um, so this is nine, nine point font, uh, times new Roman. So at least I'm starting to clue into how much text I can use. And I think that's pretty, a pretty good, um, size. And it says here that I did a, a, a thing and it said I can, uh, I've got, uh, I don't know what characters, no spaces, the difference between characters with spaces, because it doesn't look like I had only any bloody spaces there. I also popped in a watermark. I'm, you're going to see what I'm up to. Um, so that's 2,448 characters, uh, no spaces, if I wanted to um, use both sides for uh, rules. I'm very happy. I like the way it's going. Uh, uh, the other thing is uh, about it, I got to show it to Rob, which was great uh, in real time, like with somebody, uh, you know, to ha interact with that way. And uh, I explained to him, um, excuse me, my, oh yeah, I wanted to show you this. Just don't know, I don't know what the hell these are for. I found it at the dollar store. Like, I don't know what the purpose is. Um, but I thought, interesting binary play aid. Uh, you know, um, status symbols or something I could pop, uh, I could easily put, make my own, um, removable labels. Interesting. I'm going to, I'm going to figure out something to do with that. Uh, on the side note. Yeah, of course I just went, I just got sidetracked. Uh, Oh yeah. Rob, um, talking about the play. So I got to show Rob the game, the playthrough. I explained it to him and also my focus or my aim and saying, constantly rob i'm thinking about kids children i want that to focus like it um i don't give an f about adults in some ways um that's the way i'm looking at the postcard jam game and when i showed him that or explained that to him and he went i said what do you think rob and he went i'm just going to tell you right now chris essentially 10 times out of 10 if i showed him my game uh my game to his kids and a traditional postcard, the way you're thinking kind of game. He said 10 times out of 10, they'd go for my game. 10 times. I was like, excellent. Doesn't mean they would like it. Just means they would go for it 10 times out of 10. I was like, okay, that's that's exactly what I wanted to hear. Uh, yeah, so that was wonderful. Okay, I'm going to hit pause. All right, I hope this works because uh, I'm doing it, like I said, off my mobile phone. Um, so there you go. That's the prices, guys. Is that ridiculous or what? $35 Canadian. All right, you get that? Now let's go to, this is what I'm thinking I'm going to do as a vendor. Remember I mentioned I wanted to uh, volunteer. So I don't think I want to do a booth, even though I like the idea and still ridiculously cheap. The guys didn't even get back to me, the little brats. Um, which is maybe a good thing now because there's one thing I do want to be, I'm, I like the sound of this. Just so part of me, okay, look at the prices. It's still ridiculous. That's insane. Two booths. You know, oh, come on, man. Anyways, uh, I'm seriously just, I, I just 25 bucks for the weekend and I could be, and I can call myself a peddler. I don't think, uh, you don't understand. Just for me to be allowed to say, for the remainder of my life that I officially was a peddler at some point in my life. Oh, holy F. That would just be such a beautiful feeling. Um, and I can actually say that I was a peddler. I guess you'd have to sell something to be a peddler though. So I'd have to, I'd have to figure that out. But that would be, oh my God. But this is probably, I would say, maybe the most uh, the most efficient one to do. The fifteen dollars for four hours. I get a sponsored table. I could sell my just a tiny little t tiddly bits of stuff or whatever, and um, don't have to. Yeah, you know, a, a very extremely small, uh, like just a few T-shirts or. I'm just. You see what I'm going with? I just. But the peddler bit. Hmm. I just like the idea, the sound of a peddler. Like I said, I just. Yeah, I gotta go there. Uh, is there anything else to show you? Yes. Sorry if I'm uh, going way too quick. I got to go to the registration. Yeah, my games aren't even listed there yet, too. The guy said they were going to be listed last Friday. Like, what the hell? So, uh, oops, sorry. Uh, schedule. That's right. Sorry. And where did I see it? I think it was Saturday at 9 o'clock. 
Britannia is a historical board game that broadly depicts the millennia-long struggle for control of England, Scotland, and Wales. The game begins with the Roman invasion of 43 AD and ends with the Norman invasion of 1066. <whistles> Guess who's going to try as hard as possible to get into that game? I'll, uh, l yeah, let's do the... Ah, let's just go quickly. Dude. Dude. Here, I'll put it up a bit more. Maybe that'll help you. Well, anyways, I'll put the link so you can go to it yourself for crying out loud. But, uh... Yeah, this is just the very beginning. I looked for my game that I wanted to play, the Seven Years War. Oh, 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 DBA Open Tournament. What's that? That's got to be Saturday at 7. What the hell? It's usually at Sunday at at, um, at 7. And this year it's um, Saturday at 7. Oh, boy. Nick! Oh, oh, this is not good. This is not good. This guy, Nick Swales, is the guy that usually runs the Seven Years War um, games and that would be the normal time like it's usually at around 2 or 7 on a Saturday uh, shit uh, that means he may, be, he may not be playing it shit well well it doesn't matter I was uh, I'm going to be playing the D DBA Open anyways just due to the fact that uh, there may be another one on Sunday as well that would be interesting if there's uh, a second one I'd be surprised Seven. No, nope. no, nope. they're doing ADLG. Okay, they decide. Yeah, Todd Creasy. That's the guy who normally does uh, DBA, and he's decided. Screw it. I'm going with uh, Art de la Guerre. Uh, that's a massive, popular thing, and it's more or less supplanting DBA, at least in my universe. Okay, see you in a minute. Yeah, I definitely need to take a look at my notes now because I'm I'm certainly going to forget. Okay, I showed you the Tannenberg game. I haven't really talked about the birthday, but uh, I certainly want to... Uh, I'm just going to... Uh, I just want everyone to enjoy themselves. Um, no stress, whatever. Take a look at all my miniatures. You just wander around. Just talk about stuff. I mean, come on, man. Let's just have some fun for crying out loud. Uh, the Capretto or the First Battle of the Asanzo. Please don't shoot me. Um, I'm going to take a look at it again, but as far as I'm concerned, I may want to play the first battle of the Asanzo over the over Caporetto, just due to the fact that I do want to see a little bit of movement, for Christ's sakes. I'll take a look again um, at um, the orders of battle and whatnot, and, and I think from what I was reading, the first battle of the Asanzo is a bit more balanced. Um, I know it doesn't have all the crazy special troops and so on and so forth, but Look, guys, uh, we'll see. Like I just said, uh, we'll see. Yeah, I still have to do the... I'm uh, planning on the War Museum uh, visit. Um, oh, yeah, you saw the Postcard Jam update. Live stream thoughts. You know what? I, I'm still... Yeah, as long as I keep thinking I need to improve, I think I'm, uh, I'm, I'm in good shape. And I am improving, I guess is what I'm saying. It shouldn't be like, oh, you need to improve, but you never do. <laughs> oh, that wouldn't be very good. Um... Yeah, I'm still uh, finding my legs or whatever, but uh, it's difficult uh, in the sense like part of me, like sometimes I'm like, oh, I want to, uh, maybe I talk too much and I'm not allowing um, other people to comment and so on and so forth. But I'm like, well, Chris, there's not that many people actually watching live, so don't worry about it, um, that kind of thing. Um, in other words, just do what, you know, just continue doing what you want to do. Um, and I'm loving it, It you know. It's the way it goes, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, this, oh yes, okay. I'm telling you now, man. That's why I was starting to bring up the Italy thing as well in the in the live stream about the map, uh, uh, the west coast of Italy, and so on and so forth. I'm telling you right now, I need to get a proper map. It, it, like we're at, we're gonna need, to, you know, we just can't rely on the Dervelt Creek maps for talking about World War One, what's going on, because we're yeah, we're missing huge chunks. Uh, also, on a side note, um. Because I am going to go to school today. Um, I went to World War One National Museum and Memorial, uh, like I said, and I'm downloading curriculums and I'm starting that off. I was going to do the uh, initial one with uh, the Ottomans, World, uh, the Ottoman Empire in World War One. Um, however, I think I'm actually going to just do my own stuff because I'm really, really intrigued by the whole Greek thing. So uh, I want to find out, like, there's just something about it. I just, uh, 
So I want to find out, and I'm sure it's going to lead into the Ottoman Empire. I mean, every, as you know, everything's flipping connected to this, that, and the other thing. Hey, puss. What you doing, you puss? Hello, you. Um, yeah, so that's what I will be doing. But I also downloaded the thing about how to make, um, like, postcards from the front and all that stuff. So that'll help with my narrative play. But my, oh, my, oh, my, the amount of resources available there is just beyond ridiculous. Um, so I am going to start connecting, uh, this, like the grand campaign, grand campaign is going to be slowly woven into this. Uh, it's going to happen, uh, I think r quicker than what I expected to happen. It's going to happen. Um, I'm already, for example, in my universe, looking at it now that Italy is probably going to postpone, uh, entering the war if it continues, if, uh, Russia has a horrible time here. And um, Austria-Hungary is, um, you know, fairly effective keeping them out uh, like out of Galicia and all that stuff and and whatnot. It just doesn't make sense. I'm not saying Italy is going to side with the central powers, but I would say right now in my world, and if let's say uh, someone like I've mentioned before, if other viewers want to take over Germany, I mean Germany, take over Italy in uh, being like the head honcho of deciding what to do and whatnot, um, go for it and say, you know what. Uh, Anyways, that's the way I'm looking at it. They're probably not thinking about, like, I don't know where they are at in this timeline. I have to go, f hopefully I'll find out uh, where they even, cons were they just really on the fence still? Because right now I'm sure they're like, no one would even be considering, wow, we really got to go for the, uh, you know, towards the Entente. Also, the way it's working with the live stream, so I am going to be tying in the live streams with my mini game, the Grand Campaign, but not in the way you may think. And that, uh, what I mean by that is, uh, the week to week flow of it is going to help me with background information as I start up getting that way, and I'll never catch up if I keep at that pace. So I'm in November 1914. The live streams are in February 1915. So I've got a you know what I mean? I've got a few months there to uh, of background information to find out what was going on and try to tie it into uh, what's happening gameplay wise is what I'm trying to say. So I think that makes sense. I think that's about it. I uh, hope you guys are having a great Sunday. That's about it. I've got a bazillion uh, videos to watch um, from other YouTube people, which is going to be flipping awesome. That's it, I think, probably. You know, I'm sure there's more stuff, but that's the way it goes. Okay, bye.